Hello and welcome everybody to 1997, and in my hands I am holding the Great Big Bertha. So for sure it's big, for sure it's a Bertha. Look at it, the top line gives it away as a Callaway Big Bertha. Look at this short, straight, hollow hose. But is it great? That's a tough question. As we all know, was it the US Open? That was won by none other than Ernie Els. So. In 1997, I wasn't huge into golf. Callaway's already been around for a while, and they're following the trends, right? The Titanic irons, Tommy Armour TI-100s, and now Callaway wants in on this party, and this is the predecessor to the later VFTs, the Hawkeyes, right? So the Callaway Hawkeye, which are wonderful clubs, by the way. So how does this individual compare? We should examine that under the microscope. Look at this brute, <laughs> great big Bertha, Callaway Golf, Tungsten Titanium, irons. It says right here, in case you didn't know what an iron is, they let you know that these are irons. You can see on the back, like this huge cavity undercut, and then they have, what is this, titanium with tungsten weights? So it's all this stainless steel. So yeah, this is my question. So it looks like this is all stainless steel, and then they put in a little titanium insert with tungsten weights in the titanium insert. Is that what happened here? That's what it looks like. I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't, it's not clear. So we have this little applied label right here. It's a damper. It dampens everything. It's like titanium month here at the Vintage Golfer. So you can see graphite S2H2 short, straight, hollow, hosel right here. It's all pronounced hosel. We have a framed groove pattern right here. So we have the iron number here, top toe, then we have white box frame, another extra little groove down here, and your grooves, beautiful. Let's look at this massive top line. I still love looking down at this. It's so, it just cracks me up. Offset, big old huge thing. Uh, you look at hybrids these days, and you know, they stick out further, but this is a big iron. We have our little stereotypical, let's spin around here, make sure we didn't miss anything. The sole showed you, you can see the iron number down here. Toe profile, big is the word that comes to mind. We have our little plastic ferrule right here. It looks like an O-ring. Lots of aftermarket people will throw an O-ring on to these Callaway clubs. And then we have our Callaway Golf graphite shaft. Regular flex. Anything else on there? Not really. 1997, this is an aftermarket. Probably some win grip it looks like. It's pretty worn out. Maybe on your side, you can see it better. I think this is a wind grip. Probably will say right here. It says wind golf. So let's see if this really is forgiving and how we do out on the range. So as an iron, as far as feel goes, I have trouble distinguishing a lot of these Callaways. It looks like a great, it looks like a big Bertha. It feels like a big Bertha. I'll make a comparison video for everybody out there who's shaking your monitor or your TV. Do a comparison, I will, but we gotta get through some of these individual reviews before I can make some of this other content. It looks and feels so similar, just out by itself on the range, what, what do I get? Longevity. Okay, if I want longevity, I would choose a non-Callaway titanium iron, like, for example, the Armour TI-100 or the Titanic, or pick one, okay? Because of this hosel right here, there are the notches in it, so you have to cut the, you know, the shafts or at least bore them out, and then, yeah, insert it, and, you know, it's a pain to reshaft, and the, the ferrules are incredibly hard to find. So it's hard to reshaft. 
So to me, that just makes its lifespan more complicated. And what do I get? I mean, they made it look so similar to the Big Bertha. They could have made it cool or have some character or some quirks or something, but instead we get just a, it's a, the same, but it's made out of better materials. Good. That's so not exciting. So for me, not something that's high on my list. I recognize that it's a little bit better, right? So if Big Bertha's were like the pinnacle and this was just a little bit better, then yeah, go with this. So for me, now, everybody out there is going to have different experiences and memories. If you love these, I can totally get it. I'm on board, right? It's cool. It has a tungsten, it says right here, tungsten titanium, not just titanium, tungsten titanium. And it's unique. You're not going to find these black label Callaway great big Bertha irons everywhere. And it's very limited production, right? For what? They made this for what? One year? Maybe like one golf season? So 97, 98? So not the easiest things to find. So if you had a set, I mean, if I had a set, I would definitely hold on to it. But as far as like something that's super desirable that I'm out looking for is like my top 10 like sets I want to acquire, this is not on that list. If I had a set, I'd love it and treasure it, but not something I'm seeking. And that's just where I'm at personally. So let me know in the comments below where you are when it comes to the Great Big Bertha tungsten titanium irons. If you want to support this channel, I have a Patreon account. You can go there. I'm accepting general support. You can also support me on my Amazon shop. If you shop on my Amazon shop, I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.